Hey, John, I have heard so much about the changes to the My Collection section, and, and I really appreciate you you answering a few of my questions today. How, how long have you guys been working on this now? You know, it's funny. We've been probably doing this about seven months or so. So it's been a long time. We've been itching to put it out. And finally, we're at that kind of point where we feel good enough to put it out in front of everybody. We've done a ton of testing. Um, yeah, we're ready to go live. So I've, I've, I've only gotten to hear things about it. Would you mind actually like kind of walking me through it? Because I know, I know you said I could take a peek, but I, I looked at it and everything is just so incredibly different. I mean, there's Thanks. so many more functions to it now. Would, would you, would you mind like actually kind of like taking me through a few parts and pieces? Cause I've got some questions. Yeah, let's do it. Let me pull it up. Wow. I mean, just right up off the top. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, there's you know, so much more information here, man. Yeah, we've, you know, we've over the years, we've been live since, you know, 2018. And ever since we launched, people have been, you know, everyone's had a suggestion for us about the collection section, how we can make it more efficient, how we can bring more information up to the users. Um, and this is really the kind of, you know, accumulation of all of that feedback. And it's basically been a, like a five year uh, user study <laughs> on what the best collection section ever made could look like. And hopefully we, we came close. We'll see. This is awesome. So, so, so take me across the top here. All right. So when you come to the collection section, we have the dashboard, which is up here at the top. Um, this is that highlight of everything in your collection. So you kind of get at a glance to know what's happening. Uh, mm -hmm. One of the, the newer features that we've added is this little update button. So cover price updates. Um, so if you don't know, uh, cover price pulls in sales from multiple sales, uh, online real life sales venues, you know, every single day, multiple times per day. And um, a lot of times people don't know when we've updated our sales. So this button, if I click it, you'll notice that this whole thing recalculates. It goes out and searches and checks for everything. Um, and because we pull in those sales like five times a day, um, this button disappears after you click it. And then once we bring in new sales, you'll see another update option again. Um, also, if you make any changes to your collection, like if you remove something or change a value, um, then you can go back and recalculate your collection. So this gives our users a little bit more power and that's something that they've been wanting. So does that, does that, does that change just when any updates come through cover price or when a change that might be actually applicable to their books? Um, any change um, applicable to their books. So every oh. single day. So for example, like I don't laugh at my collection, but <laughs> 352, this is just a testing little account here. Um, but. Yeah, anytime a price update comes in for my uh, collection here, that cover price pulls in because we pull it in in, in batches. Yeah. Um, so say there's like, you know, every couple hours, the uh, system is updated. Mm -hmm. Your your collection will then be out of date. So you need to update it. And so that button will appear. Oh, awesome. Cool. So down here you have, you know, items in your collection. We break it down by raw and slabbed. Um, this is another cool thing, Phil. You're going to you're going to like this. So everyone keeps asking like, well, I have this massive collection, but I want to know just what this one you know, these few books are worth or like, Hey, I have a, um, you know, things I want to sell. Is there any way for me to break that out of the major collection or the main collection? And now you can. So we've created something called a virtual box. And what you can do is you can, this one I've titled, um, if I go over to here real quick, you can see, you can create all these different boxes. This little section here basically calls out the value of the um, highest valued, you know, virtual box that you have. Mm -hmm. But the idea of, of a virtual box is you can put anything in there. And I don't know, what, what would you group your collection by? I'm going to put you on the spot. <laughs> you know, honestly, I would, I would really group my collection by like never, ever, 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 ever would be sold. And, um, 100%, you know, something that I could, I could, I, I could turn into something cooler, like, like things to sell. I love that concept because at the end of the day, I do have a lot of books. I'm a reader, right? So I buy a lot of books just to read them and at the end of the day. I eventually could turn like like anybody responsible in this comic book collecting you know community you can take those books and you can sell them and turn them into another book right so for me i i love that concept of a box of things that you know i'm i'm interested in getting rid of so i love that concept so as you were talking i created a box called uh i think i called it uh my personal collection don't touch <laughs> oh <laughs> no touchy <laughs> no, no touchy don't touchy um, so for example, I created that box, um, mm -hmm. and all you have to do is go over here, hit edit. And this is another feature that we're really excited about. Cause a lot of people were saying like, it's so hard for me to quickly manage things. And that was a major thing you're getting into your collection. Some people have tens of thousands of books in here, you know, and we want people to be able to manage it as quickly as possible. Now you can. So 
for example, I can say, let's do all my NYX um, covers here. So I can literally quickly search for it. I can then say, I can either click in each individual one, or I can just select everything on the page. I'm going to mm -hmm. add to a virtual box. These are things I'm probably never going to sell, to be honest. So my personal collection, boom, added. And now if I go back to virtual boxes, you'll notice that the page updates. I have that and I can, and so if I wanted to, I could refresh the value of that entire box here, oh, or I can wow. say if I'm, if you know, you know, if I'm kind of impatient or maybe actually if I am patient, I can click on this cause that'll take a little bit longer, but that'll recalculate everything on the page in this, in this column for you. Oh, okay. And then you can go into the virtual box. Um, and it'll show you everything that you've added. It'll t uh, sum it up for you, your highest uh, comic there some filtering options, the ability to, you know, of course, get in there and do some more editing if you wanted to list view, grid view. So yeah, it's, it's a really, really powerful feature that we just added. And I think it's going to make a huge difference in people's collection. So honestly, that, that is, that is super great for me because I can't tell you how many times when I go, I, I, I have a few thousand books. I don't have anything crazy, but I got a few thousand books and I know when I look at it, the list view automatically is alphabetical or is highest value. And no matter what I'm doing, even if I like go and I search for certain things, I can't always remember the exact title of that. Like I, I remember it's X, Y, Z, you know, I, I believe it's black cat. I think I know she's <laughs> this cover though, but you know, J Scott Campbell's done so many different covers of different ones. I can't remember. Is it, is it amazing Spider-Man? It's spectacular Spider-Man. Is it what, which one is it? Right. And I end up scrolling and having the ability to put in, like I could have all my Spider-Man comics. I see like all things Batman. That would really help me when I'm looking at all versus my different virtual boxes, really nail things down for myself. So I love that function. That's that awesome. We, we've heard that story, that exact story so many times when we were developing this. And um, it's cool. I think, yeah, I th like I said, I think this is gonna make a big difference because now you can grab them. Now you can look at them and watch those things that you're interested in. You know, and, it, it, and hopefully you can search for them very quickly. Uh, we'll probably get into some of the filtering stuff in a second, but there's so many ways to now drill down into your collection uh, yeah. in a lot more detail than we had before. And I also see like highest slabbed and highest raw comic on there as well, too. Yeah. So this is something that we did in the past, and it's a nice kind of highlight to your collection. It just flags yeah. like, hey, you might have added something that's now the highest, but it's kind of like a trophy case. And you're like, yeah, OK, this is my you know highest slabbed or graded comic. Uh, this mm -hmm. is my highest raw comic and that'll change as you you know as prices go up and down in your collection oh, i love that i love that yeah all right and we've got the we've got the remember i remember i still remember my hot my keys my gems <laughs> and then my bookmarks and these are the these are these are ones that i'm still looking for kind of situation so this one this one here yeah that's your wish list so anywhere mm -hmm. on the site you'll notice this little icon and that's kind of our wish list tab so mm -hmm. you can either click here or you can click on the wish list directly um, since you brought it up, we'll just jump to that section because actually it's, yeah. it's kind of cool. Um, I'm going to be saying it's kind of cool like a bunch on this. <laughs> <Because> <laughs> the team, it's so funny because we've worked so hard on trying to drill down a good feature set and, and make it usable for people and enjoyable. And the wish list was something that we kept coming back to because, you know, you're walking into your local comic shop, you're at a convention and you want to see what you should buy. And yeah. the, the way we did it before was, you know, you had it just in a, in a big list and that's it. So let me show you something like one thing is you could walk into your local comic shop or into a convention um, and you might be looking for a specific comic that you know you've added to your wish list, but you might have like hundreds of things on that wish list. So mm -hmm. now all you have to do is go up to search. Let's say it's the Edge of Spider-Verse. So you just start typing Edge, for example, and the system is going to quickly find everything that has Edge in it and oh, nice. bring it up to your, your fingertips. Um, the other cool thing is um, when you go into, so right here you can, you know, you can remove it from your wish list, add it to your collection. Um, you can buy it in the marketplace. Cover price has a, an aggregated marketplace where you can search for if you click on that button. Oh, cool. Um, yeah, that's something I don't think a lot of people know about actually. Uh, but yeah, if you were to click on that, this one would show up for like my comic shop and um, eBay. And that is a really good feature because it quickly lets you see what it's kind of selling for in their you know, live market. Absolutely. This little button here, this little guy here indicates that you've added it to your collection. So I can see that I've had these two in my collection, but a lot of times people have it on their wish list um, and they want to get duplicates. So we left it in there. You have to remove it, you know, by just clicking the button. I like that. I like that. But the coolest thing is this. Um, first of all, you know, again, you can do uh, a lot of editing and multi-comic multi editing. Um, but in list view, 
this is gonna I, I this is one of my favorite features you can now say what your desired grade is so instead of because you don't have these in your collection these this is on your wish list i can yeah. say well this daredevil i want it in a you know i want it raw because i know it's if i get it slabbed it's going to go you know it's probably be worth more i'm looking for a nine eight and i'm going to say you know buy it when it reaches ten dollars like here's a note that i already actually had in here but you can enter any note you want your you know quantity you could go to the price guide by clicking up here um you hit save and this part right here is going to update so it says nine eight so right now this is grayed out because it says like it's a stale uh it's over 90 days if you hover over it it'll say the sale came in 90 days ago so we indicate that it's an older sale so you're not like you know confused about what it's currently worth but i can say okay well it's worth around about 36 dollars, and i know now that the desired grade is this and so it updates the whole thing i can quickly see my note oh that's what i wanted i wanted to buy it when it was 10 try to find it maybe you know with some uh, damage on it so i can maybe press it or something so there's all these like different things that we've added to the wish list section that I think makes it really, really popular now and helpful. I love that. I love that, especially the the ability to put in my notes on it for what, because I, I very often I forget things. I, I won't lie. When it, especially when I'm at a convention, there's so many books in front of me where I'm at a shop and there's just boxes in front of me. It, it's very easy to just you know, pull up a list once in a while and it's just the book name and like, okay, well I can maybe find it over here, but what kinds of details, why was I looking for that book? Where was it a part of? Cause sometimes too, I'm looking for a friend of mine and I can't remember the reason. Like, <laughs> why is this on my list again? Oh, I don't want this. Oh, this was for my daughter, Gwen, or this was for my friend, Theo. You know, I was supposed to look out for A or B and that really helps. I love the note section. That's a great point. I didn't even think about that. But yeah, you can say like, buy this for Theo kind of thing or something. And then, um, you know, then at least you have that note. Yeah, um, I don't remember why. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, it's funny. People people tend to like batch things together when they're working on their collection. Like they'll start adding stuff to their collection in, in a big like a uh, sprint kind of. Um, same thing with like wish list. You know, they, they might get inspired to see it when, you know, they're watching something on YouTube and then they'll be like, oh yeah, put it on my wish list. You can also, just quickly, you can also, we have added a ton more uh, filters Holy and sorting God. options. Yeah. <laughs> Wow, there's a lot more filter and sorting now. Yeah, so you can sort everything in your wish list now by like the highest estimated value, it's stuff that has the current market trend. This one's cool because um, if it's hot in the marketplace, you can look at it across your entire wish list and just say, yeah, show me what's actually trending right now. Um, number ones, and of course, you know, this is the best one I think is just um, the series. You know, I can look at for all my, um, I have just a lot of ones. Oh, here you go, travel. For some reason, I have traveling to Mars on here a lot. Um, but I can click on that and it will just pull all that up for me instantly so that I can get in there and, uh, you know, see what it's all worth. Oh, nice. Yeah. I like it. Yeah. So that's the uh, wish list section. Awesome. Yeah. So now I'm going to get, I'm going to get a little aggressive. Okay. What is okay. all? <laughs> <laughs> it's well, every, it is everything. Intimidating, right? It's show me everything, John. It's the universal theory of relativity all brought in together <laughs> in comic books. It's the uh, secret of life. Um, no, so all, all is everything that you have in your collection. So, yeah. you know, the cool thing about doing this digitally is like, you know, we all have our, our long boxes and short boxes. They're all in like different rooms in our houses, in our garage, wherever. And for you to remember where everything is, is tough. Yeah. This puts it all at your fingertips. You know, you literally can just search for anything in your collection. Like I showed you in the wishlist section, I'll just do black cat again here. You know, and all the black cat and black panther popped up here, you know, um, shows up you know if i want to narrow, narrow it down i can actually say let's see there's a black cat number two right there i can say hashtag number two boom right now, and that's a great cover by the way i saw i went to i think san diego what was that um yeah i got that at one of the cons it was such a fun find it's a gorgeous cover now yeah. with the with the list view though as well does this have notes ability on it while you're in the the uh, all view Yes. So the list, so we have grid view, which is the standard cover price kind of, you know, yep. um, grid view. Um, now we've added list view. So now you can see all of your comics in list view. If it's rare, it's going to get an icon. If it's key, if it's hot, um, if you wanted to, you could create a note for anything in there. Um, this is an example. I love this. You can indicate what box. Something I didn't mention is you can put multi one comic into multiple boxes, right? So oh. you can have like things I want to sell, things, my favorite cover artist, you know. Because I wanted like to that. ask you about that because I do have my, my comics in multiple places in my house. And sometimes, I won't lie, I forget which, I, I, I know it's in a short box. But what, <laughs> room, which freaking short box? And sometimes it would be really cool with that note section to say, you know, attic, garage, 
office, you know, wherever it may be, where you're actually keeping that short box and, and knowing at the same time too, with those virtual boxes, I can still have it organized digitally, but also with the notes, I could have it placed in there physically. I love that concept. Well, let's, um, let me show you exactly how to do that. It's kind of cool. Um, so we did this uh, black cat one. So we have this already in a couple of virtual boxes, but I can click on um, the, the pen icon or in, in grid view, uh, you can just click on the image itself. Yep. Um, you can open this up and I can say, okay, um, let's see, it is in bedroom number one. If I wanted to, I could say Phil's house because I okay. keep my, I'll keep my comics at your house. Don't touch. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take, I'll volunteer them. That's okay. <laughs> and I'll never see them again, right? Books at my house. <laughs> it's all right. And so now it's, it's marked as in Phil's house and, um, it should show up right there. Oh wait, I'm sorry. That's the, if, if, if it's a box, but now if I click into it, I can quickly see that it's in Phil's house. And if I wanted to see all the stuff that I have in Phil's house, I just go to the filter section and say Phil's house. Click on that. Oops. I have to hit, uh, Hit the wrong button. Phil's house and hit search. Once you do, there it is. Oh, and wow. so then, so now, like, if you were to use that part of the um, collection section by itself, right? Um, storage location. You can put all your comics in every. You can you can just say short box one, short box two, like I have here, and now you can see all your comics in that, and then adjust that accordingly, and filter your entire collection by it. So it's a really powerful way to just see what's in that. And if you wanted to, this is kind of fun. Say you added, like, I just have three comics in this one, um, short box. Let's see, I'm going to put that one in short box too. This is really cool. You can actually um, click on that, click on search. So now here's all of the comics that I have in that short box, for example. Um, I can now put it into a box, right? I can just say, okay, select everything, add it to, let's say, you know, things to sell or whatever. Now that entire short box is in a box and I can see the instant value of it. I can go now to that, you know, short box and, uh, favorite comics, things to sell, things to sell. You know, John, if you decide to sell that black cat, you need to call me first. <laughs> that's, that's, that's in my that's PC. Cool. That's doing this <laughs> before that anybody else that watches this video gets to well, apparently it's it's at your house right now anyway right so oh, okay. well, fine. <laughs> damn <fine>. it <laughs> um but yeah and so it's cool so now like the we haven't even scratched the surface of what we can do with this you know it's really fun because now i can go up here and just say well let me update that box uh value that should change a little bit yeah six thousand bucks and then you know everything in that box is now updated so it's no, a quick way to just grab your you know everything in your collection sort it figure it out it's it's pretty powerful no, I, I love that. And I'm sorry, I knew that was a complete curve because I know we were working our way through the all section. But as soon as you mentioned, like, you've got books here, you've got books there. It's just like, oh, my gosh. Can you yeah. do this? Did he add that? And yes, you did. You <laughs> well, did. I did. We did not know. This was not planned. This so is, I wish I was smart enough to come up with this myself. Like, this is literally the team coming up with ideas, all of our users reaching out and saying, can you do this? And, and me saying, it's coming, it's coming, please wait. This is um, truly yeah. community built. Yeah, it really is. It really is. I mean, it's just truly community built. We, we really, you know, whenever someone reaches out to um, info at cover price or help at coverprice.com, um, you know, we, we have a team going through that, making sure all of those are heard, listened, responded to, and brought into our kind of decision making process. And I can't tell you how much of this really is, you know, stuff that people have asked for, you know, because that's yeah. the best way to build something for the community is what, what people want. Um, no, absolutely. And these are these are experienced collectors too. Like I know, as a as a relative novice in many ways of rebuilding my comic book collection, I learn a lot from the people that have been doing it for a long time, and seeing these kinds of um, these kinds of functions in my digital tracking tool allows me to better at the same time to build my collection in a smarter way as well. So that way I don't have to go back and, you know, try and reinvent the wheel every single time I think of a new angle. A lot of these new angles are right here in front of me. So that's, that's fantastic. Yeah. Let me, let me show you some of the other stuff here on the, the alt tab, because I think um, there's so much functionality in here. Yes. Um, so first of all, like just from the alt tab, you can look at everything from by series now, you know, so basically you can search like all the series in your collection um, and you can jump into, you can update all the values if you wanted to. We talked about virtual boxes, we talked about wish list, but back on the alt tab, um, one thing I wanted to point out is if you, you know, one of the more important things about a con collection is one, just having it and, and enjoying it and having it in your home, but you're kind of curious what it's worth. 
Well, now we've actually added this entire column here, uh, purchase price and gains and loss, right? Oh, wow. So if you enter a purchase price for your comic, right? We will be able to then tell you based on the fair market value from cover price, what your potential gains or losses are. Um, here's some losses, for example, you know, it turns out in red. Um, and then and I think it's really powerful because now if you wanted to like here, for example, I, I haven't entered any purchase price. So I can say, you know, I can tell that this one has a fair market value. I can click on this one. I can say I bought it for, um, let's see, where's my ah, purchase price. Um, I can say I bought it for, let's say a dollar. Yeah. Bin diving. Yeah, I've been diving. Dollar bin. So click on that, saves it. This will automatically update with the, the percent profit there. Oh, nice. Right. Yeah. So it's really, really cool, really powerful. Um, in terms of the uh, filtering of everything in your collection, you can now kind of, so one thing that we've had before was the estimated value. So you can just, you know, see where the highest to lowest is. Um, current market trend, this is new. Things that are actually trending up in the marketplace that you have in your collection. So this again, connects you to the outside world, right? <laughs> it kind of like breaks the bubble of my collection in the world all together. So you can add, click on that. Um, I just showed you profits and uh, by percentage and by dollars. So you can look at your profits. Um, stuff with re recent market sales. So again, this is actually the one up here is the trend, like trending up. This is stuff that has actually sold that we've collected data for. So you can see, well, what is even hot in my collection? Then you have, of course, your grade, uh, you know, 9.8, 10, 10, 0, whatever. Um, stuff that you've recently added to your collection. This is something that we had before, but it's really important because say you go to your comic shop or convention and you add like 50 comics, you don't sure. want to remember what those are worth. You can actually just now filter by that whole thing. Um, and then of course the comic publish date. I thought I heard you for a second. Did you have a question? Nope. 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 <laughs> nope. nope. I'm listening. I was, that was me itching my ear thinking to myself, okay, I got a lot more things of organizing myself to do. <laughs> yeah. I think we've just collectively taken up like hours of people's times when they go in here and start managing their collections. Cause like, like, also, like, I can put in exactly what I bought it for. And I know what my profit margin would be or what my, <laughs> my potential loss would be that that's huge. But also then comparing it to of what's going on outside the market. That is, <laughs> that is a very, very, very helpful feature right now. Nobody, you know, I don't see anybody doing that kind of stuff. Yeah, you know, and, and we do it for raw and for graded. You know, a lot of people just focus on uh, slabbed comics, but for us, it's like, well, 99% of your collection is probably raw. You know, okay. we need to tell you your values. We need to let you manage that and figure, you know, figure out what's going on there. Um, you can filter by your virtual boxes. So any boxes that you create, um, I talked about, you know, storage and location. Um, of course, you have that this year, you know, hot key and rare, but you can do this in here as well. Is it raw or is it slabbed? We also added some other grading companies on here before we had, I think, just a few of them. Now we're trying to be a little bit more inclusive and bring in, you know, um, some of the smaller ones as well. And if we don't even have it, you know, you can actually identify something as other as well. Yeah, you know, yeah. you know, you know we, cover price really wants to be the the, you know, Switzerland. We just provide your information. It's your collection. You should be able to enter the information that you want for your comics. Yep. So that's what that's one of our guiding principles. Um, publisher. So again, this is really helpful. You can now search for everything in your collection by, for example, Marvel. And you can see that I had 207 Marvel comics in here. Mm. Click on that. And then all, only all of the uh, Marvel comics will show up over here. I do love that because I'm a big indie guy. So seeing, oh, being yeah. able to find my different Aftershock and my other different, you know, Valiant, you got your booms, you got your, yeah, I, I, I love the ability to be able to search by that. That's great. Um, here's something that's kind of interesting and we'll kind of come back to the, my, uh, my value, but you can actually look at, you know, comics that have that cover prices provided the sales for, but we're now adding a way for you to, um, add your own value. So say you, you know, you don't agree with the value that cover price shows. You can go ahead and say, well, I think it's worth this much and it'll be added there just to be clear. This isn't something that like other people will see your value is what you think your comic is worth in your collection. Um, but you know, it gives you that freedom again to say like, Hey, cover price. I don't think that one, you know, you're missing some sales data there, or, Hey, you don't have any sales data for this one. And it's showing up as a zero in my collection. I know it's worth a thousand bucks. So this is your way to, uh, you know, add your own value. And I should show you over here. It shows up like this. It has a black bar at the bottom. This, we call this the value ribbon. Oh, and okay. it, yeah, it shows up like this and it has a look, a little person on it. So it's like, you know, the system didn't do it. You did this one. So we try to make that stand out. And of course you can like, like I just said, you can filter it right here. Mm -hmm. And then finally, you know, series type, like, you know, regular limited, you know, one shots. 
So we've added a ton of stuff to filter your collection, explore it, dive down deep into it, um, and really you know bring up the comics that you're interested in looking at. Oh, I love it. I love it. I especially love the ability too, to pull up your foreign books, things of that nature as well. Yeah, we're, and we're going to be adding to this. Like this is this is collection section 2.0, oh, right? This is we're going to be doing 2.01, 2.02. We have a lot of other ideas for like really fun interactive things to do with your collection. So this is just getting it out the door with this brand new big update, and then there's going to be a lot more stuff to it. So speaking of the ribbons along the bottom too, John, you were just talking about how it shows that that CBCS nine point four, one hundred dollars, Spider Man, Amazing Spider Man three seventy five, and I see the little person next to it. That means that means I did it myself. <laughs> you I, did. Look at, I look at some of the other ones, and they're gray or they're blue or they're you know. I, I, can you explain to me just a little bit about the ribbons because I don't always I I, I hate to say it, but I don't always necessarily remember them all. Yeah, you know it's funny with comics we there's so many different variations of sales and values and and we try really hard to make it as simple as possible but yeah you're right there could be some like nuance there that's kind of confusing um yeah let me talk you through it so this is the value ribbon the value ribbon comes basically in gray and in blue gray means it's a raw comic that you've identified as a raw comic or if you didn't enter any information about your comic it comes into the system as raw um if you've said hey this comic is uh slabbed we will identify the slabbing company that you or the grading company that you've used and give it a blue line unless it's um, well, if it's if it's uh, signed, you'll see the signature thing pop up here. Okay. Um, so, yeah, black is your value. This is a user generated value um, over here. We see um, raw, but you see it goes raw 9.4. If you see the grade on this side of the little line, that means the user or the member has entered the 9.4 and that's the value for it. Over here, you see the same situation. The user entered a 9.8, but it's a grayed out thousand dollar thing. That means that the sale is a little bit stale. Again, we want to always inform you and let, make you help you make the best decisions about your comics as possible. So we're going to give you as much information about it. Here, it's so it's a thousand dollars, but that's over 90 days. So you might want to look for other sales. You know, you might want to, um, you know, take that into consideration if you're going to sell it or buy one. Um, and then over here, you'll see that this one says. That, no, the user did not enter a grade and we don't have any sales value for this one. So this might not be a very, you know, popular comic. Um, it's or for whatever reason. Cover, though. I mean, I'd freaking buy it, so. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's in my collection. <laughs> I know, right? But there's, you know, there's oh, so many. I mean, cover price right now has over 700,000 comics in our database. And we have a saturation of, you know, like 90% of comics have sales um values with them but there are going to be comics out there that just are either ghosts that no one ever sees or just they aren't popular enough for people to really be interested in buying and selling um so sometimes this happens and this might be a perfect example you might say you know what i want this to i want that value to be included in my my estimated value collection so i just click on that and i'll say you know what i believe my value i think that comic's worth at least ten dollars because let's let's be nice yeah i click on that that updates with that value and then this button becomes updatable and so that should go up by about 10 bucks or whatever there you go Boom. and again this is only affecting your value this isn't like something that you're reporting then to other people that have this book on the census you know this is 100 percent just yours there's no inflation of other people's books by use john saying i think this is worth 10 bucks phil has a copy of it it's ungraded it's got nothing in there and that doesn't change my data at all. This is, again, you guys are still only pulling from those verified sources, not what people feel like the book should be worth. Yes, 100%. And thank you for clarifying that, because I think you just saved us about a thousand emails. <laughs> <So thank you. laughs> I appreciate that. You saved my weekend. Um, yeah, exactly. This is just for you. This is your collection. Um, and as I mentioned, say say you went through and just added a bunch of, um, you know, you assigned all these values to these comics. You can quickly go in here and say... Um, value shown let me just see my values search and then you can go through and change those if you you know say think that there's been sales in the marketplace because then cover price will grow ahead and grab those sales and, and update it for you awesome love it yeah and let me just show you one other one that is a common thing that sometimes confuses people um this one right here so here you see it's, it's a you know a gray bar value ribbon yeah um it says raw 9.6 and then you see parentheses of very fine for 11 dollars and so people might look at that and go, wait a minute, I put it in as a nine six. How come you're giving me the value for, you know, just the, the very fine. So this is an, whenever you see parentheses like brackets after your grade and it's a different value, 
that means that we don't have any sales at a 9.6 for this comic. Maybe it's not popular enough, maybe it wasn't selling, but the most common condition we do have is the very fine condition, and that was for $11. Mm. So, you know, the thought process there is like, we're not trying to throw off your collection. You know, sometimes people might have like um, um, a golden era comic, uh, you know, golden age comic that's like, you know, a 3.0, but we only have maybe a 5.0 and it goes up $1,000. This is a perfect situation where you're going to do the my value. You're going to say, no, 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 that that seems wrong. And that'll correct the total value in your collection for you. So just wanted to call that out as as there's a re there's a method to our madness. Yeah, <laughs> you know, no, it's, it's in there. And I, and, I, and I like the fact, though, too, that, you know, in, in this case, being a very fine, you know, that it could it would obviously be worth more than the eleven dollars as well, too, if you decided to put it in your for sale uh <laughs> virtual box <laughs> right and, you and yourself when you look at it like you know what the last sale shows 11 bucks for a very fine i think this is a 9.6 i'm going to I, i'm if somebody wants this they're going to pay me 20 you know whatever it may be yeah yeah and, and i should call out that once cover price does find a sale at a 9.6 it'll automatically update that on the next update so you don't have to worry about it we're we're, we're keeping an eye on your collection for you um so we'll do that for you but we just we just don't want this to be a big zero in your collection we want to say that hey at least you know hey it's probably worth about this much this is what the most common version of this is going for yeah and it gives people a good place to know as well whether it's higher whether it's lower you know where you may be falling in on the value of that because we've all been pretty well tracking you know near mints and very fines and fines and good you know all, all the different kinds of uh, grading that we could get into here in the system it gives you a bit of an idea so i love that. yeah no it's just putting the power to the people, you know, this is like literally like your collection, you, you know, you collect the way you collect and everyone's really different when it comes to that. There's this edit button right here. So in the past, it was a bit of a hassle adding and removing comics from your collection. This, this is going to change all of that. So when you hit the edit button, you're going to notice all these different options, right? You can um, add it to a virtual box, add location, delete, assign grade, assign a purchase price. So gone are the days of you having to go into a comic, adding, you know, assigning a grade into a comic, deleting it. I can literally like right here at the bottom of the page, sorry, rip flash for everybody. I can say, you know, hundred comics, 50 comics, 20, you can show as many as you want up to hundred mm -hmm. per page. I can literally say, click this button, uh, that checkbox is all of these. And I can say, delete everything on this page, right? So now, and I'm, I'm not going to do it because they, go, they say, um, let's not do that. <laughs> there was a collective sigh or a gasp <laughs> out in the, the interwebs. I love looking at some of these books. Yeah, I, I like the, these images. Um, but now, I mean, but now, honestly, like you can quickly just remove everything in your collection or say you, you sell a series. You can go into the series tab. And this happens all the time. People are selling boxes of comics at once or trading them in or just getting rid of them. I could go into, let's say here, this one has two oh, here. This Batman has six. I can click here and say, delete series. And I can just take the entire series out of my collection in, in a second. And, or I can say, delete, you know, all of these series, you know, or one at, at a time. And again, quickly re like remove all of these comics from my collection. You put it into cover price. So you just added them on your phone real quick, right? Yeah. Um, you come over here, you hit filter, you say um, recently added, you yeah. search for that. And then say, because you just came back from the dollar bin shop, um, from the comic shop and from the dollar bin stuff, you can now say, okay, all of these I just added this day, you know, or, you know, yesterday or whatever. Let me put the price on them. Let me put a grade on them. You know, these were all pretty good. You know, it's going to save everybody so much time and, and hopefully I'll be able to sleep at night, not worrying about everybody using <laughs> cover price. I agree. No, I love that. I love that feature. I love that feature. It helps out a lot. Yeah. And that's pretty much everything, to be honest. Uh, you know, the virtual, the series, just like virtual boxes, you can dive into a series. So just to show you real quick, let's find one with a few more. Here we go. This Batman one again. So again, you can, you know, delete the full series. You could go to the, see the full series outside of your collection, or you can go into it. And once it loads, you can see everything in your series, what it's worth. You can update that value if you want, whenever you see that little refresh button. You can see that my most valuable comic here is the uh, Batman number 40. Let's see. Oh, yeah, these guys for the uh, oh, $7. I remember this. I thought this was going to be a big, big book. <laughs> it was not. I get it. I get it. We've all been there. We've all been there. I can now filter everything by key, right? Mm -hmm. And if I wanted to, I could just hover over on desktop. I can hover over any of the keys. It tells me why key information. Oh, that wins so much time when it comes to navigating. I love that. Yeah. There's, there's a lot of little secret 
Easter eggs that I don't even remember that we put in here, to be honest, um, that'll, I think, make people very happy. Oh, I love that. Yeah, no, that'll save a lot of time because usually you have to click in then you got to go back out and you got to kind of refresh the way it was before. So this is very helpful. I really yeah. like it. Yeah, I think so. I hope so. I, I hope everyone enjoys it. And we're really excited. There's going to be so many more features coming out. This is just the base. This is like the, the basic ingredient of our, I was going to say lasagna, but you don't really, <laughs> lasagna is just more lasagna. You don't add more. <laughs> so let's say a salad. This is our basic salad. We're going to start adding some croutons and some other fun stuff soon. No, I love this. So this is going to go live on Thursday of this week, correct? That's right. Yeah, that's uh, today is the 27th. So about the 29th, it'll oh be live. God. And um, yeah, I mean, reach out if you got if anyone has any questions about things we can improve on it. Um, but yeah, no, I mean, it's it's we're here for, in the, for the long run. We're really excited to be part of the community and, and offering a, a service that I think people are really enjoying. So. Well, no, this is the first of a lot of really awesome improvements, and I'm really excited to actually get to use some of these now in just a couple of days. So, John, thank you so much for uh, taking me through everything. I I really appreciate it because at the same time, too, every time something changes, you go, you kind of just like go in and so many people update their pages and they update functionality. They don't really tell you how to navigate it. This is super yeah. helpful, and I, I really appreciate the one-on-one -on -one here. Thank you for, for, you know, being interested in walking through it and stuff. I, I think we've just this conversation has probably saved a lot of people some, some headache and trying to get to know how to use it. So thanks, Phil. Appreciate I it. I hope so. All right. We'll talk to you again soon, John. Thank you so much. All right. Later.